The Adam and Wax show. Definitely not the Wack and Adam show. How you feeling? Man, I made it another day. Made it another day. That's how I'm feeling too. All My right. knee hurts. Um exhausted this nba young boy six hour documentary is really taking its toll on my mental health i feel like i might be actually Wait, ready to join six hour documentary 4k tray this is really cool gang i'm thinking about Hold getting on, down. Slow down, slow down okay what is that as far as i understand nba young boy started his own blood set out of baton rouge called 4k tray now we don't exactly know what that stands for they're saying it might be for Cantrell, which is his name, or something along those lines. But either way, they wear green bandanas. Well, who told you this? Well, it's within the six-hour documentary. But I'm saying NBA telling you this? He didn't tell me. It's in all his music. So 4K Trey can mean something else, not a gang. No, that's pretty much the gang. And NBA stamping this? It's kind of like NBA is the record label side of things and then the 4k tray thing is the gang that apparently he invented which Allegedly. i think it's pretty cool that you can just Allegedly. invent a set whoever came up here and told you mm -hmm. that nba young boy invented a game nobody had to come here and tell me it's in the music no, and listen. it's in the documentary no listen you don't know what 4k tray means you're right that i don't know exactly what it means because apparently they're very protective about the exact Meaning? Okay, so if you don't know what 4K Trey means, how are you labeling it a gang? Do you know what a gang is, right? I mean, if you're fully immersed in the young boy lore, which I think after the six-hour documentary, I really am. Do you know what a gang is? Yes. Define gang. A group of individuals who come together to commit criminal acts. No. Yes. A gang is a group of people okay. that represent the same cause. Okay. You just add criminal acts. So the Boy Scouts are a gang. The KKK is a gang. What about a bowling league? Yeah. Is the bowling league called uh, Gymnasium Bowl? That's a group of people that represent a bowling team named Gymnasium Bowl. Isn't that kind of a weird example? No. Because you normally at, bowling leagues aren't held in gymnasiums, listen, listen, right? I'm just saying. All right, but it's kind no, of, but I'm it saying, might be confusing to the people at home. You're saying... How do you know 4K Trey wasn't a movement that was used for the marketing of his music? Why does it have to be a I mean, game? That almost that certainly is, is part of it. No, that's what it is. Within the songs, he declares that this is his blood set. His mama's slime, his daddy's slime, everybody's slime. As I'm sure you know, slime is blood slang. I don't know. But they rock the green bandana. How you like that? Well, the green bandana has always been associated um, to par rules. Really? Right? I didn't know that. Yeah. Lime hood. Thought he invented it. Right? Lime so, hood. Yeah, lime hood. What is that hood about? That's Bompton. That's homies. They homies. Lime. Right? Thought so, it was just a fruit. Fruit Town Power Rules, another Power rule set. Right. But what I'm saying is, for y'all to say, NBA Youngboy created a game. Let's say NBA Youngboy created a movement. Is Black Wall Street a game? I think NBA is, is the Black movement. Black Wall Street a game. 4K Trey is the gang. NBA is the artist. No, NBA is the, art, the music label side of things. The game was the artist. Black Wall Street was the movement. Okay. NBA is the artist. 4K Trey is the movement. It's marketing. It's the gang. It's a criminal no. gang, in fact. No, no, it's not a criminal and gang. And 12 people lost their lives. That's what I've learned from this documentary. Allegedly. A lot, well, Allegedly. They're, they're dead. We just don't know why exactly. But for the most part, it seems anybody who has had the nerve to mention NBA Youngboy in their music to attack him on wax, in particular people from his city, they end up dead. Cap. Facts. Cap. You, you haven't even seen it. You an NBA young boy hater. No, I'm not. I love him. Can't love NBA young boy. His music's not amazing. talking like this. AI young boy too? That's, this documentary not caused me to like go this. listen listen, to it a couple listen. times. Classic project. Does NBA young boy support this documentary? We actually don't know yet. If you don't know, that means he don't support it. Well, he most likely doesn't support it. Yet. Okay, then this cap is somebody clout chasing 
of nephew uh, name. So he has to embrace it in order for it to be true. Can't nobody talk about NBA young boy and his movement and the inner workers of his movement but NBA young boy. But you can take the people that got killed in this ongoing gang war. They're dead. And you can take the lyrics and the social media posts and you can attempt to create a timeline and match up the social media posts, the lyrics, and the bodies, and you will find a lot of overlap. In particular... That's your assumption. Let's take the King Von situation. That's a situation that is extremely explicitly... NBA had nothing to do with King Von. Right, but he wrote about a million songs dissing King Von and O-Block after the murder took place. He wanted to murder King King Vine. No, but he almost certainly all, all that means wanted is, him dead. All that means is he's entertaining the fans, right? No different than Death Row bad boy. Why are you shooting him so much bail? No, this is what's real. Why are you investing in this? He f***ed you over on the game no, listen, feature anyway. Listen. He wouldn't go hard for you listen, like this. He didn't do that. Yes, he did. No, that was Who did some it? label going on. Air him out. No, we ain't go. NBA didn't do that. Okay. So listen, let's keep it real. Everything you're saying is an assumption. The difference between what I'm saying and what attack on a black man, making it racial, black man. You can tell you're losing. So you're making it about race. No, this is real. The difference between me and you is that I have watched this whole documentary and I'm working with at least some information, whereas you are working with none. I talk to NBA direct. Okay, and you don't even know that 4K Trey is a blood set. Listen, that is a movement. Why are you was saying Black that? Wall you don't Street, even know. You just heard of it for the Black first Wall time. Is Black Wall Street Bloods? I don't know what that is. I shall not familiarize myself. You don't know what Black Wall Street is? I remember it, but I don't know exactly what it was or wasn't. Who was it? Who ran? Who was the fourth? Ran the fourth in the Black Wall Street? The game, right? I mean, yeah. You tell me. Tell me all the about game, it. right? Yeah. Well, I remember the so name. So were they yeah. were they Bloods? As far as I'm aware, yeah. There was a bunch of Crips over there too. Okay. So was there a movement? Do we see any Crips with 4K Trey? Are there I don't a movement? Think so. Also, I don't want to lose out. I don't want to lose out on my know. cool NBA young boy pass. As far as I know, he's Bro, cool listen, with me. I don't want to that up in the course of this here, conversation. You just sat here and said that the man started a game that is allegedly tied to twelve bodies. Uh huh. Five, five, five. And you telling me you're an NBA young boy fan? Well, I'm a Fredo Bank fan too. And this man is on fighting a federal case right now. What kind of mother? Where you come from, man? To be fair, the federal case revolves around a video shoot in which he was carrying a bunch of guns, which he knew he wasn't supposed to. You do. don't think you saying the things you saying, right? Um, people won't hear that. You think this is going to get brought up in court? You, you've been alive a little too long to actually Did the think that. Did video shoot get brought up in court? Uh, uh, yeah, video records of someone. Do you think they're going to bring up a video of like, look at this podcaster talking about a video that he saw online? That, what what got, does that prove? What got R. Kelly indicted? Uh, if surviving R. Kelly wouldn't have came out, that man wouldn't be in jail right now. And that's a fact. Yeah, I've heard that. That's real. I don't know how true that is. But. That's real. Okay. And you got to understand that your voice has reach. It will make people talk. It will make your people that are the very same people in that federal court have a discussion. That seems ambitious. The Trapalor Ross documentary, the Trapalor Ross documentary has a million views in the past two days. Will you commit to watching it so we can discuss it next time? I definitely will watch it. It's extremely well done content. We're going to go over it on the hunter's side and dangerous minds. The difference between the Young Boy documentary that Trapler Ross did and the King Vaughn documentary is that he, in the King Vaughn one, is really suggesting, let me finish, that King Vaughn actually committed these murders, whereas he doesn't really get at the idea that Young Boy might have actually done the drilling, but he's... Definitely saying that in some of these situations, they might have been hits that he ordered. But cap. There, there is one. That's all cap. There is one hey, yo, situation listen, in which some, somebody did something that's to him cap. and his people, so he pulled up and, and fired a fucking machine gun. That's at cap. Them. No, that he pled out on. That's cap. <laughs> so you don't believe it, even though he. he... Just because somebody pled out on something, don't mean they did it. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean. That's basically sometimes. Sometimes you ever listen to those music. Sometimes the judicial system will put you in a position to where you have to plead out on it, because the politics of the situation says you're looking at 50 years if you fight it, and they gonna paint this picture in front of this damn jury that don't look like you, 
and they're going to convict you. This is a very specific style of podcasting in which you take the subject, the rapper in this case, and you ignore everything that they say about themselves and everything that seems to corroborate so what you, they say, and you ignore all so of it, you and you shoot him bail says, for no reason. On, bro. For no reason. So you think the things that rappers say is their reality? Do you think that rappers when two people have a conversation, they're rapping about shit, stories people told them? Oh, next you're gonna tell movies me movies they might have saw. This we, real we're shit. the CNN of the ghetto. Rappers they're been saying reporters. that for about thirty years, and it's bullshit. Okay, CNN watch this. does something very different watch than this. what NBA YoungBoy does. Yeah, they lie to people. <laughs> rappers tell the truth. Watch this. <laughs> that seems to go against what watch you're trying this. to get across watch in this, this conversation. Ice Cube. <laughs> Ice Cube says. I started this gangster shit. What does he mean? Um, he means that he was one of the most influential gangster rappers early on in the very early days of gangster rap. I don't know that he would say he's the person who started it, but NWA, you could say, basically started it, right? He's talking about rap music. For sure. And he's in, in his own right to claim that. I don't think anybody thinks that a rapper who came out in the 90s started being a gangster. 80s. 80s. We could go all the way back to what? Like the 60s. The 80s. And the Italian mafias. But when he says, I started his gangster shit, right? He's talking about gangster rap. Gangster rap. Yeah. Right? Now, you heard some of the music, the lyrics. Mm -hmm. Right? The street report. Things they saw. Things they might have survived. Stories they heard. Loved ones around them. Shit that happened to them. Call Birdman right now and ask him if Young Boy's a blood. He can be a blood. That doesn't mean we're negative. Are you saying bloods are negative? No. Huh? What do you mean? So what if he is a blood? I just want to know. Are you saying they're negative? I want to know if 4K Trey is solidified in these streets. 4K Trey. I'm going to hit up the Grim 3. I would, I would say is a movement. No different than black, what Black Wall Street was. No different than what... Bad boy a death row was. Let me all look it up. What is it's 4K a Trey? What is 4K Trey? You know what that is? 4K Trail, 4K Trail, 4K Trail, three times. Or forever killing them. Who said that? Well, it's been suggested. Suggested by who? Theodore. Theodore Rockenbacher. <laughs> who suggested that? Okay, Urban Dictionary. 4K Trey is a gang created by NBA Youngboy. And who who's <laughs> who's the author of the Urban Dictionary? Uh, Benjamin Franklin. There it goes. <laughs> Shout out Blueface. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got to Ben Franklin. <laughs> I like right how in. the first thing I found said that. <laughs> anyway, so this is my idea. What up, brother? Me and you. We catch no, flights. No, 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 bro. We're going to Utah. Bro, bro. We're going to see what's cracking. Or you. what's bracken. Let me stop you. Okay. When we start talking, because, you know, you be on some other shit. Mm. The me and you phrase, fanato. We don't fuck with Finito? that. Fanato? Fanato. Why fanato? Because that's what the fuck I say. What, fanato? Fanato rhymes with viral, because that's what I say. I say viral. Fanato rhymes listen, with viral? Listen, ain't no me and you. We going to say. Why is there no me and you? They going to say whack. You going to say whack. We should go. Okay. Now let's go to Utah. You want to pull up on nephew? I'm gonna text. I can, I can make a put in a call. Well, I'm gonna text. I can call Stunner and have Stunner reach over there. And well, put it I'm gonna together. hit up his A and R that he's been working with for many years, who is the person well, who we need to go see BG tomorrow. Le, that's a good idea. Let's do that as well. But right. September second, my uh, or no August thirty first, Young Boys A and R, my boy Eli, who was heavily featured in the six hour documentary. He hit me up, asked me for my ID, said there's a possibility that I might be going to Utah to join 4K Trey. What if I send him a selfie no, with bro. you and no. I say, ask young boy if he wants me to bring this bald head shiny That's motherfucker. That's my boy. That's no problem. Oh, okay. Listen, we can do that. But listen. Ask young boy. 4K Trey, as I stand. Whack. I say <laughs> it's a movement. <laughs> All this. We're going to find that out in it's Utah. It's a gang that's having... People shit done to people. We not doing that. Realize is this is KKK a conflict of gang? answer for this. Uh, I guess you would say they're a criminal organization, right? Yeah, group of people that came together for committing some crimes. I don't right. know if today they are. I'm not mad at the KKK. 
Well, I'm certainly not going to be reiterating that. What I'm are you not, What are you not mad about with them? Because what about the cross burnings, the lynchings? No, listen, I don't agree. But with that's it. what I'm saying. Did they do that still? I don't, I don't agree know. with it, but I understand it. What is the because because you want to do that to white no, people? No, no, not at all. <laughs> I'm an all lives guy. I'm gonna tell you why. In those times, that's what was taught, and that's what it was. Let's just be real. That's what was taught, and that's what it was. They didn't know how to adjust to, what do you mean they can, they're like us? What do you mean they're equal? I'm not saying it's right, but I understand that mentality. I, mean, I think we can understand you know it and still condemn it. Yeah, I understand that mentality. Right. Now, what I like about today is they're a whisper. See, when you look at how strong they was, the influence they had back then to present day, right? They've, they're losing the war. Yeah, they don't seem like they have a lot of power they, anymore. They, they, hey, they, they won a lot of battles, mm -hmm. but they're losing the war. You know, their headquarters in Mississippi was signed over to a black woman. Really? Google it. Hard it's real times. shit. Hard times for the client. In a lawsuit or whatever, civil suit, right? But I understand them. Like, coming up in those days, you know, they was taught that. They was taught we're superior, we're this, we're that. So when they're like, hey, what they're trying to say now, they're going to eat what we eat, or they're going to go here, do this and do this and do that. I understand it, you know, the hatred, and they're like, no, nah, I don't want to change. Right now, if they said, okay, um, Mexico is about to take over the 11 western states of the United States. Okay. People will rebel. Yeah, definitely. Okay. That's what they were doing. They was rebelling. Now, the heinous acts they did, no, I don't agree with them because they was towards my people. If people in totally other parts of the country started, you know, attacking and, and lynching random Mexican people, then we have a problem. Um, you mean like the police do? But if there were actual Mexican invaders taking over America, then we're at war. Really, it wouldn't be on us. It would probably be on the military to do battle with them, right? Well, yeah, well that'll never happen. Seems unlikely. That'll never happen. I understand the Mexican people because I understand at one point in time this was once theirs. Mm. San Diego, San Francisco, San Fernando, Pacoima, Durango, all that shit. This ain't nothing that the Europeans named. It was named that because this was all once their territory. All the way up into Wyoming and on over to Colorado and, and all that. Um, and you know what? They're very strategic about how they coming to get it back. You know what I like? I like a nice long drive across the U.S. with the homies because my man One Punch, shout out Gabe, from back in the day, young kid grew up in L.A., got killed a couple years ago. We did a drive to Colorado back in the day, about 2012. He really opened up. He told me about everything through his whole life. And that's one thing I always kind of resent. Where is he that was from? I didn't get it on camera. Where are you from? He's from a, a crip neighborhood in South Central. I won't and go into detail. And he told you about everything? <laughs> Blew my mind. Yeah, he wasn't solid. Well, I think he just trusted me a lot. Nah, him trust you don't mean his hood trust you. All that shit was way back in the day. Don't matter. Some things don't have a statute of limitation to it. That is true. And some of the things he told me about definitely do not have a statute of limitations. But I feel like if me and you were on that long drive, you might end up actually telling me the real shit that you've been keeping close to your chest for all we'll these months happen. and years. You never tell me where the bodies are hidden? Never happen. Really? I don't know nothing about bodies. Really? Where are the only they? bodies I know where are they is, um, what's the song? My body all over your body, baby. That's a good song for a female. Oh, what about? Let the bodies hit the flow. Let the bodies hit what's the flow. What's that, heavy metal shit? Yeah. I don't fuck with that. Kill the cats and stick the rats in the dog ass. No, I, ain't, <laughs> I ain't with that kind of shit, bro. We ain't doing that shit. So if you joined a rock band, that's like the type of bar that you'd be bringing to the table. Kill the cats and rape the dog's ass. What was that? No, Something, just, put them in the dog's ass. I mean, that's some heavy metal shit, bro. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with it, though. That's, that's, yeah. that's a vibe right there. I might have to get a guitarist and a bassist to, just you so I can that? spit those bars. Yeah. I can't believe we tried to come on here and slander the NBA like that. Just uh, made him a fucking, you tried to YSL nephew. Okay. Well, I'll ask him when I when I catch up with him. What's going on with 4K Trey? 
But really, this four K Trey. This is a problem. Four K Trail. Is name can Trail? My political alliances could be hurt by this. I'm a close O Block affiliate. Some people would say I'm an actual member. And don't nobody pay your ass no motherfucking attention. He's bro. rolling up O Block pack in the songs, bro. I, I'm not down what, with what, that. What you mean? After the Bond incident, young boy was. Let me ask you something. Talking bro. a lot about O Block. The alleged guy that was arrested for killing King Bond. Lil Tim. Was he not acquitted? Yeah, well, they said the cops' bullets are, are what ultimately killed Vaughn, which when you watch the security Were footage. Were you not acquitted? When Was you watch the footage, well, if you watch the footage, Lil Tim shot Vaughn a bunch of times at close range with a gun. Listen. Seen it with my own Shot him where? All, uh, all throughout the body. Okay, now. Allegedly. Outside of hookah lounge. Well, you want to see the video? Allegedly. I believe you probably have seen the video. Allegedly. Right. I believe the man was defending himself. Defending Quando Rondo. He was defending himself, defending himself. Well, his friend who was getting beat up. Whatever it may be. Maybe he thought his life was in jeopardy. Right. I would do the same for you. You would kill someone if they punched me in the face? I mean, if you was getting attacked and assaulted, yeah. right, in a manner that might have been a you'd threat up to your the life. you fire and kill the dude who punched I, me? I would definitely assist you. Well, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Right? I would do the same for you. But see, this is what's crazy. This black man has uh-huh. been acquitted. He's associated to nephew, and you still putting the shit on him. I thought this was the home of the brave land of the free. I wa- I don't think anyone thinks it's that. I watched the video of him shooting him. But ultimately, he wouldn't have died if his shots were the only shots. Well, then the cops started shooting shit up, too. To me, it's very hard to believe. Why would the cops start shooting King Von? And he's already... Right. Shot in Why down. would they shoot just a body that was on the ground? There I don't goes. really understand. Yeah. There it goes. Right. So we have to like take that off of NBA and take that off of uh, Lil Tim. Right. Well, then why'd they write like entire albums making fun of this shooting and really creating like a whole spe- they wrote, spectacle out of it? They wrote a body because they knew they didn't do it. Well, we know what they did. Y'all don't know shit. The court said they didn't do it, they didn't kill him. You got to see the video. Okay, watch this. Did they reduce the charges? This is how I know the you full of shit. The charges were dropped. That's why I know you full of shit. Because they would have reduced it from the murder to maybe assault or you attempted the murder. If the charges was dropped, it was more to it than just the cop's bullet killed him. Yeah, I don't really understand. But to be fair, I think I don't really think Lil Tim did something egregiously wrong. Now, could he have handled it a different way? Sure, it could have been a big Man, fist fight. Man, get the fuck out of here. You don't know what's going on, bro. It could There's have been a fist night fight. Late night shit moving around. Yeah, well, I, but I'm saying I don't think he really, like, did something heinous. It's not like he killed Vaughn for no reason. He killed him because he was punching the rapper that he was basically there to protect. <laughs> what is this? Is he wrong for that? Mm. The only thing is in question is, did he use an overt security. amount of force? You yes, the security, security was right there. You have security. Sure. If somebody starts attacking you, mm-hmm. is your security going to react? Yeah, for sure. They should okay. do the same thing little Tim did. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah. You can't fault the man for being prepared. Let's, let's step off of the 4K trade question, since I believe that it is quite clear that we are both joining. Um, let's talk about the fact that we've had a few different WAC 100 ops stopping by the building. Some surprise visits. I was just telling you about a a former street affiliate of yours. I'm not sure if you would want to mention his name, but, uh, he came in here, had a whole litany of, uh, complaints about you. Hey, listen, I listened attentively. One thing about complaints, right? I heard him out. Complaints got to be back with facts. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people tell a lot of stories. Okay. But um, documentation beats conversation. Now, what you mean you had a whole lot of whack ops? Well, okay, so there's the guy I told you about before. Uh-huh. Then we had Tasha K stop by. Oh, she did, she did she tell you about, or did you tell her that I told you about us? Here's the thing. Did you tell her that whack told you about our little thing? I did ask her if she ever had sexual relations with you. What did she say? She looked horrified. Um, she's been with her husband since she was in her early twenties. She got fucked by. Well, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna put out there. But and so, what did she say? Did she answer the question? If she was with you, did she answer the question on camera? 
Yeah, she said no. So, and then that's all she said? I mean, most of her other response, the rest of her response was mostly like verbal, nonverbal gestures that she was like horrified. She kind of looked like she was going to throw up. You know me and Tasha look alike. I would not do that to her. By me and Tasha K looks alike. She's a very... Um, You're more of a caramel. She's a very pretty guy. Pretty guy? <laughs> she's a woman. Whack. That's my point. I can call her a pretty guy because she's a real woman, but she's pretty as a guy. Now, if you got a female that's a very that's pretty as a guy, then she's fucked up as a girl. <laughs> I feel like you... Tasha K is the definition of a walking oxymoron. <laughs> Shout out to Cardi B. Yo, yo, listen. Shout out to my spies on the other side and my squad because she know what I did to her. Why am I doing a podcast with a, a <laughs> villain, a super villain here? Look at him. Yo. I love her. But She's amazing. She answer, but you know what? I was checking her out. If you day. slept with her, feel free to show me some receipts right now. Text messages, images of some sort, anything. I'm not seeing it. Shout out to all my winos. I know you're out there. Oh, yeah. This isn't going to be as easy as me finding the definition of 4K tray on Urban Dictionary. You got nothing. Her husband's a great guy, too. You would love that him. That dude's an African dude who was uh, hoodwinked and bamboozled and thinking he was going to hide all the assets over there until my spies found it and I sent it in to the home girl and exposed where it was at. Remember before? I mean, yes, remember I, before I, when they said yeah. Cardi B only got nine hundred dollars or nine thousand dollars? Now, five days after I posted the shit and got it to where two hundred and twenty thousand dollars is the offer, can we pay you a quarter? You know why? Because she was hiding the assets in the hunted side of the clubhouse, and my spy team we found them and I exposed her. Why do you want to ruin this woman? Listen. I don't think she did anything wrong to Cardi B. Definitely did. What? Don't mention the homegirl name. We ain't doing that. Shout out to Cardi B. I also. can't say Cardi B, but you nope. can? Yeah, I can't. That's my homegirl. I was supposed to meet up with her uh, relatively recently. Nah, you don't need to meet with Cardi. Yeah, don't. Cardi, we ain't doing that. There's a new serial out called The Whoops, and uh, she has been doing a little bit of endorsement That's my work girl. for The Cardi Whoops. Cardi B has never, ever changed with me. What do you think that Tasha K said about Cardi B? She violated his defamation of character. What, she what, said what she had a fucking claims? disease. Well, she didn't. Uh, one of her former well, stripper co-workers said it. Said she it. said it. No she pushed her. it like it was real. Her former co-worker said it. She said it like it was real. I also don't think it's that big. But what I do know is this. And what Tasha know is she took the bait. She took the bait. She should have known. Why the fuck is WAC 100 out of nowhere just coming at me? She should have known, bro. She got a legal team with a five thousand dollar retainer. Listen to me, bro. I think brother. that's ultimately why she lost. No, in court. it's not why she lost. She lost. Cardi and them couldn't find the assets. My spies start digging. Shout out to my homeboy from the boot. That was a New Orleans play. You know what I'm saying? You know who you be. That's my partner. Everybody on the hunter side know who he is. But listen, we got to digging and we found it. We said, hold on. She faking like she didn't check, drop the last name. All the assets of the houses is up under this court, which is controlled by here goes the thing. Uh -huh. All that was pre-existing prior to, which makes him just as responsible as her. Okay. So I used the R. Kelly shit as the camouflage, which I had to do that for R. Kelly because he needed me to get her to say some things to admit. I mean, when R. Kelly calls. You right. answer. Yeah. Right. Got, so now R. Kelly's out. So now. you know now R. Kelly is uh his appeal is because of what I got her to say is 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 looking good. So if R. Kelly starts walking the streets free again, we can thank you. Uh definitely. So if we find out about any uh black women in their early twenties from Chicago who are forced to drink pee or anything, that's on you. You're, uh, you're... I'm gonna keep it one hundred, bro. If any <laughs> woman in their early twenties drink right, pee. Um, that was kind of his thing, right? If they are into those sorts of things, that's their right. Well, that's true, yeah. People do shit in the bedroom, right, that other people don't do. Like I've heard, I've heard stories of uh, women that defecate on men on their chest. I heard you were into that. No, definitely not. 
I hear this kind of shit, and to me, I'm like, yo, what the fuck are they up to? But that's their thing. So am I saying that, like, the female that's doing that to this man, like she's assaulting, assaulting him, that's what the fuck he's into. Is it true that the reason why you keep your head so so cleanly shaved is so that it's easier for cleanup when someone does defecate on your head? Um, again, anything that has to do with sexual, like the word head, me and you don't do, bro. Because we know you part of the community. Can I say dome? Listen, Naughty on the honey side has the, the shit on you. This is your gay friend. No, Naughty's a transgender woman. Oh, okay. You know? She has what shit on me? For some reason, look at your boy Rockstar. Your boy Rockstar is a piece of shit. Why? He wants to be on this episode, I'm sure. Piece of shit. You see him trying to troll and like make beef with me? You want to hear him? Look, he's a piece of watch this. Mm-hmm. Violate watch him. Violate Cuz. What's up, piece of shit? <laughs> what you want, piece of shit? Don't call me mumbling shit like starter. that. Shit starter. What's up? Did you have time to think about the fuckery that you do on Clubhouse? Right? Did you have time to at least admit that you gaslight shit and try to see shit, right? I, I told you I'm off that, bro. He sounds like he's jerking off. You're not off. doing it anymore. You sound like you just woke up and you're jerking off. Why is Adam making, uh, the, what, what, why are you saying that? Like, y'all cool like that? I feel like he just woke up and he's stroking his morning wood. Yo, my nigga, this nigga Adam is talking about you doing some shit to yourself that's weird for a man to be talking about, bro. Hmm. Yo, Adam, Adam, Adam. Yeah. Rockstar been going up on your Instagram. I saw him trying to go up on me. Tell Adam what to do. I ain't tripping off Adam. Oh, but, yo, hey, don't talk to me while you got your boner in your hand, my friend. Oh, my God. Oh my. Yo, what the fuck is you, going on? I know when a man has his boner in his hand, and you, my friend, on, you got boner in your hand. That's on 4K, Trey. Let's go. Adam, we don't do that weird shit that you do, Adam. Masturbating? Do well, I guess on the on the phone with the homies, it's kind of weird. Yes, yeah. we, don't, we don't do that with other men. We don't, we don't play them games, Adam. Only mm. you do. It's not really a game. Adam's serious about the shit. More of a fetish. But listen. See, what? I got to finish telling him about um, Tasha K favorite position. And we're not done with ops either. All right, that's another op. Rockstar, he's on the op Yo, list. Look, he's op. Oh, big op, yeah. That motherfucker's op. Yeah. For real. Oh, of course. He likes to, like, gas like shit that could lead to some street shit. Mm. And then he'll sit back and act like he don't know what he did. Yeah. And then all kind of other shit going on. Sounds like somebody I know. I, you know, what's the guy, the report card dude? It's me. Oh, Dejon. Dejon, right? You like him? <clears throat> uh, I talked to him the other day. Oh, we should get him on that I don't agree with you how he's doing it. guys can go to war. How he's doing it. But I mean, you know, it's his thing. He's a brother. He's doing some shit. It's cool. But I came into the room, and I guess prior to, they went over the grades. I guess he had gave Blueface a fail, right? So, but this is five minutes before I get in the room. Okay. So when I come in the room, they're already talking about something else. Rockstar, hey, whack, he gave Blueface a fail. I ignore it. Hey, whack, he gave Blueface a fail. I, he says it three times. I say, bro, listen, we're talking about something else. You want me to say something back mm-hmm. to the man, and then we start arguing. But here's the problem I have with Rockstar. With my guy Beast, on my side of the app, uh-huh. and you got to go see it on, the, on uh, YouTube, Okay. Beast violates Rockstar. When Beast went in there, was violating his ass, he tucked his tail and muted the fuck up. So my thing is, if you're not willing to stand in the fires, stop setting fires with other people. I feel like Dejan's down for the smoke. He's down, yeah, He's been arguing um, with people on podcasts and on social no, media I mean, ever like, since. I got I, you know, we had a real sensible conversation about the things about what he's doing that I really don't care for. And he agreed with a few things. But let's be fair. Saying that Blueface's rap career is not in a great place right now is not the most controversial opinion I've ever heard. Now, his tabloid lifestyle, his shade room <clears throat> lifestyle, for sure seems like it's doing great. Musically, maybe not so much. The past couple of years. You know how much we stream? I don't. I would assume it's mostly, you know, his legacy recordings. Not so much Why recent stuff. Why do you keep stuff. acting like he only got one song, bro? I'm not saying it's one song. I'm just saying, can you name a Blueface song from the past two years? Yeah. <laughs> goes to his phone. No, goes, for, goes for an energy drink. That, that's way older than two years. Hello? No, it ain't. That's doing the, the, the shit with DDG? 
Yeah, we made that. That shit has been out for like three or four years. Get the fuck out of here. We did that during the middle of COVID. It's 2023, like okay. 2021, so 2020. longer than two years. Hello, just dropped. We had approaching like 15 million streams. We on some indie shit. This build mm. is growing. Hello, it was hard. Let me put it like this. I saw a compelling academics live stream about Blueface and Krishan the other day while I was academics getting a haircut. Academics hating on, look, I'm going to be real. Well, they have a beef, yeah. At this hating on, I'm going to tell the motherfucking world this. Okay. Right? Nephew, forgive me. Axe hating on Blueface because Blueface knocked his bra down. That's it. No, no, because you notice how he came out of nowhere with it? The Shea girl? I ain't going to tell you which one. Shut the fuck up. Look, bro. That's act. Like, these little bras, they run into the... Bro, it goes down like that. I watched Ray J hit LaDamian Thomas' wife when he was still at the Chargers. Motherfucker can't tell me nothing. I didn't see the best of the best get hit. Not Shea Glizzy. <clears throat> Listen, bro. Shea Glizzy. So whatever Act on. had to say about Blueface, Act, that's my brother. But now we got to clear it up and let people know why you why you so butthurt. Nephew knocked the brawl down. And Nephew defense, he didn't know. Blueface he didn't, didn't go know. after. Or Act didn't know. No, Blue didn't know. He didn't just go after his broad. But, it, you know, it popped up. It happened. And Act went through the phone. And he found some shit. And that, you know, he going at Blueface. Talking about the house is finna get lost. He starts saying all kind of shit. The house is on the foreclosure list. You, you lost your house. I'm like, I got the card. Where you getting this shit from, bro? Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with his house. But if that's true, why is Blueface not mentioned that publicly? Why are you bringing it to the what table? What does Blue ever mention publicly? Well, I feel Nothing. like if he's beefing That's with academics and he has a Trump card like I fucked your girlfriend, then I would assume that he because probably would have brought it out. It's listen, been many months that they've listen, been beefing. That wasn't his intention. She just so happened to be. I go through the phone, see some shit. Next thing you know, he like, I'm like, bro, you can't blame nothing. You, he don't know. That's on her. I feel like I'm going to find out that you're talking about a different girl and not his current girl. No, listen, bro, listen. Ain't none of them women that them dudes have not touchable. Because any female, respectfully, that's fucking with certain type of dudes, really want to fuck with another kind of dude. Your wife loves you. Y'all got understanding. But when you get some of these women, and I, I wish Sharp was here because Sharp would agree. Some of these women that's fucking with a dude for opportunity, right? If they can get with the next dude that can also provide opportunity or has that swag or has that image or has that look that ain't at home, they going to do what they do, bro. No, I don't doubt that. Yeah. I, I don't know that much about Even it. Even you yourself. What? You got a total different swag from academic. This is real shit. No, for real. In many ways. Yeah. Right. Act is like, I tell you, he's a college nerd guy uh -huh. who's who's has a knack, the gift of gab, and he's great at what he does. Well, Blueface is very tall and skinny, and he has a lot of face tattoos. So that alone, And the women love him. He's got a different swag than Act. Yeah, so, bro, maybe she knew what she was doing, but he didn't know. Mm. It wasn't like, yo, that's Act Broad, I'm going to go do that. It just happened. We didn't know what happened until he go through the phone, phone calls, and next thing we know, I'm thinking it's all right, wide under the bridge. He's attacking blue face. So I was When have you ever seen Act attack somebody for five weeks, bro? How many fucking weeks did Act attack blue face? You've all the never time. seen it. No, no. He had like a month run. Right, but I mean he's been That's doing the emotions. same thing to Rory and Maul, right? That's for the, like uh, two years. Think I don't about know. no no no. He was blue faced out every day. Really? Listen, that's emotions. You tell me for what reason would Ak have to attack blue face like that for a month straight? Mm, I mean, you got to talk about something on stream, right? Come on. There's bro. a lot to talk about with blue Ak face. Does not do that. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I had to, you know. I don't want to drag Shea Glizzy Ak, through listen, the mud. Bro, you know what time it is right now, Ak. So you know, I just talked to him another day. You know what time it is, Ak. You and I know what's going on. I, it is what it is. You have just dropped a bomb on the academy. If this hey, is true, it is what it is, We're bro. Gonna, we'll find out. You know what soon. I'm saying? West Side, round this motherfucker. West Side, you know what I'm saying? like that. That's it. Can I throw up this? Well, you from the East Side anyway. Oh, so I should twist it like. That. <laughs> 
What does it say? Base head on your knuckles. Basement. Oh, okay. What's the basement? I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know, bro. It's an old I'm sorry if you've been asking that shit. Um, okay, the thing I was trying to say before you decided that you wanted to expose this love triangle is that I was watching this academic last stream, and he basically said that Blueface, in a lot of ways, he sacrificed his own musical career to make Krishan hot. He definitely did that, and I was totally against it. I warned him, and he said that's what he wanted to do. Um, he had faith in her. I told him everything she was going to do, and... I told him what not to do and what he shouldn't do, and he said it. He said, my manager fucking warned me. I didn't listen. Is he going to earn money from her in the long run? Is he earning money off her right now? No, he earns money from what he does. But if she puts out a, an album, does he make money from it? He was so sincere, he never put no work on her, bro. Really? He really thought what he was doing was genuine. He thought... It would be reciprocated, but you know, I tried to warn him, you know, nephew got a big heart. But he'd be all right. You know wow. what you put in the universe, you'll get back. So, you know, his intentions was good and his blessings will come back to him in other ways. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we gotta see what comes um with her. We don't wish you no know, ill feelings and no ill dealings. You know, she's now the mother of one of his chap children. I know. That kind of sucks. It's like I can't really I, mean, you know, I can't shit life. on her with a clean conscience because <clears throat> she's now the mother of his. Yeah, it's his human life, so that mm. got to be respected. So now we got to be nicer to, to old Krishan. You know, uh, Christian I Rock. That's what that's what uh, Charleston White calls her. <laughs> Christian Rock. Who? Oh. Charleston White calls her oh, Christian yeah, Rock. Yeah, yeah, you know, that is what it is. <laughs> that's funny. Shit, crazy, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Okay, so let's get on to the next op. Oh, the other day. Had a conversation, a sit down with a guy who does not get along with you very well. Get along with me. Jay Diggs. I don't know that dude, dude. Apparently. He, he wants I've to throw never, down. I've never seen him. I've never talked to him. Never did business. Never been in the same room. I don't know him. Right, but you've made some pretty extreme claims no, about him. I responded to his shit. And see, you took an interview with an op. That's your right because this is your platform. Uh -huh. We only talked about you a little bit. Right. Now, Unless he want to talk about how he lined his son up to get killed for the insurance money. See, what is, what is we that? We ain't talking. We can talk about it. We ain't talking about it. How he got some responsibility and getting, uh, you know, old boy killed that they love up there in the Bay. We ain't touch content on that, Adam. So his son, for the people at home, died of a really seizure wanna, induced really don't by talk about lean it. usage, apparently. I feel like you Induced by what? Lean usage. Wait, wait, induced by what? You do a little bit of wait, wait. damage to your induced own credibility. Wait, 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 induced by what? Wait, wait, induced by what? Lean, allegedly. What the fuck was in the lean? Uh, do the research. <laughs> what? What was in the lean? You tell me. I'm telling you, do the research. I, I wasn't involved in the Okay, then. The do the research. The Don't talk about my credibility. If you do the research on what was found in the lean, motherfuckers drink lean all day long. Okay. What was found in the lean and then do the research on the motherfucker that gave his own son lean because he thought it was cool. Like some of these niggas roll blunts with their kids and pop perks with their kids because they think it's cool. Why do you think he gave his son lean? It ain't about thinking, it's about what we know. How do you know that? Did he collect the life insurance? I don't know. Do you know? Well, that's a fact. Even if that's true, don't you think that's it's- That's a fact. It's kind of ugly to be bringing no, that hey, to the table. Yeah, that ain't the, he, got, he got the other man smoked. You, you do why, know- Why do you think that? Everybody know that. I've looked into it a bit. I don't really see any evidence. You want to talk, you want to interview, interview his mother? And the, the loved ones around him, the dudes in the streets? I don't want to interview her, but I would speak to her. Well, you know, end of the day, this is the thing. What he can't do with whack, I'm a G. Mm -hmm. He can't dictate how it go. So you are turning down the fade. No, no. He can't dictate how it go. See, a lot of these dudes, this dude been rapping 20 years, right? Had no, no, no traction. If you go look at what he did for 20 years, combine it together versus when he started mentioning my name a stranger. What the numbers are, uh -huh. then you understand the clout chasing. I don't uh -huh. know the nigga. Just because his he diss mad at on me you, because I talked to Blue Da Vinci. Just because his diss about you listen, has some views doesn't mean that that's the only reason he made the diss, right? Hey bro, listen to me. He don't fucking know me. He told somebody he's mad at me because I talked to Blue Da Vinci. Motherfucker, 
Whatever you and Blue got going on is your fucking business. That's like me being mad at you because you talk to this weirdo. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at you for talking to this weirdo. You talk to him or whatever you want to talk to him about. So your beef with Wack was he talked to Blue Da Vinci. Blue Da Vinci ain't never did nothing to him. So no fit. Oh, no. He going to get how it goes. <laughs> on your terms? Always on my terms. What are your terms? Can't no motherfucker, bro. Can't, it ain't a nigga. It ain't a motherfucker in this world that's going to dictate to me how it go. You, Nobody. I'm not going to lie. You and him fighting. Nobody. It might leave some cracks in the fucking sidewalk because you are both very beefy, wide, heavy set men that with the with Listen. with arms, large arms Listen. swinging. I could just imagine it. Listen, uh, uh, uh. this is um, entertainment. And he doing a lot of Buster shit. What's the Buster shit? Cause he keeping in the blogs, nigga leaving in the streets, and it's like it's a PC move. Well, he can't keep it in the streets because the person he wants to fade refuses to fight him. No. You know he know where my studio at, right? He went to American Bozo's spot 0 0.3 miles away from my studio. No, you did. No, he did too. Oh, he did an interview, right? He don't pull up. He come over here. He don't pull up. Let me find out. A motherfucker right there. We, niggas is pulling up. He talking. But he's doing some PC shit because he want to keep it in the media. Nigga, leave it in the streets. Bay Area niggas don't get out like that. If it's a problem and we got understanding it's a problem, leave it in the streets. Let the shadows, let the alleys, let the darkness be our friend. But leave it in the streets. My Bay niggas, General, my niggas from Filmo, they don't move like that. If it's an understanding of its own, let it be on. Stop telling the feds it's on. Let it die down so niggas could get down. So no fed. Definitely. <laughs> I'm in the streets. But The nigga that came down there two, three times. Adam, well, you can meet up at the railroad tracks. Adam, Adam, dude ain't finna come playing with me. Meet up at the Del Taco. Dude's not gonna come playing with me, Right. He know where my spot is at. Well, my, why make it so he has to get the jump on you and pull up to your spot? Why can't you just meet him at the jacket? Listen, the box? because I no, we gonna meet how we gonna meet. Right. But what you not gonna do is think I'm gonna make you famous. See, I'm the clout. I'm not, look. You can't. You can't manipulate. I'm a valley nigga. You can't manipulate me into doing what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. No. I'm going to do it how I want to do it. Plot, plan, execute. Yeah, you're trying to get OBG, the drop on them. original baby gangster. We always came out on top. Plot, plan, execute. He keep doing some busted shit. Shut the fuck up. It's already an understanding that it's on. And let it be on. And leave it where it's at. Stop alerting motherfuckers. Okay. He keep alert motherfuckers. He had nothing else to talk about but whack. That was his biggest punchline. Yeah. There you go. Well, no. He had, I can't he had tell plenty you to talk about. Look, I, I I'm sorry for saying yeah to that. I he, can't tell we you. We had a lot of good I conversation. I can't tell you nothing about the dude. If it was a two-hour interview, we probably did 10 minutes of whack. I can't. Listen. I can't tell. Only, my 10 minutes is, nigga, stop telling. Be quiet. It's an understanding that it's on. Let it be on. And leave it where it's at. I don't know nothing about the nigga. Okay. I'll leave it to you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sacramento. I appreciate y'all. What'd they do? Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's Sacktown doing? Oh, boy. Shout out to my partners at Sac. I appreciate y'all. Why am I doing a podcast with a Disney villain? I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around this. You're like Magneto. I know Magneto? That's not, that's not you know Disney Magneto? Movie. Magneto from New York. No, I mean from X Men. Nah, I don't need Magneto. I know he's from New York. He's he like a club a cool house. red helmet. Yeah, I think he a Brooklyn Crip. Or some shit. He one of them. Really? Yeah, Magneto. Hmm. Hmm. By the Crenshaw District. How do you feel about people? I think I was trying to get at this before when we were doing the 4K trade topic, but Tax Stone, who obviously is, we will not be seeing That's for many years. Another motherfucker I never met. But he's he, he, he made himself of my name. a blood. 
in oh. New York. He created his own oh, blood no, that, wave. That ain't my politics. I remember him saying that in an interview back in the day that he oh. just decided to be Shout a blood. Shout to Troy Ave. Okay. Because Troy Ave had that nigga running. Yo. How you bustle the nigga, drop your gun, and start running? Took his shit. And you know, I don't like I don't like how people spin in that narrative. What's the narrative? Tax the bitch in that situation. Why? You hit a motherfucker. You hit both of them. And let me take that back. Not a motherfucker, because I know his brother. You 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 body somebody and then hit Troy. How do you lose the gun? Yeah, I never really understood exactly how that went. Troy only get caught up because he popping back at you with your gun. Uh -huh. And everybody is labeling tax. Oh, he's the man. No. Man, you from my neighborhood. You get your gun took. We looking at you different. Okay. I'll keep that That's in mind. It. But he got 35 years or so. I don't wish prison on nobody. But keep your glizzy. Keep it close. Or you will lose wax respect. No, it's just when you letting it go, let it go. Don't play with it. Bond with it. Love it. Bond. Yeah, make, you know what I'm saying? Say bong. Bond with it and love oh, it. Oh, bond. You ain't supposed to be like. They were saying bong, bong, bong. Listen, bong. any motherfucker bodies. What is, boom, okay, boom, what, what was that? What is this? You don't, that, that, that's how you're holding the gun. <laughs> that looks like something else. Well, that's how you're holding the gun. <laughs> the fuck is that, bro? You know what I'm saying? When you, when you lock, you lock. You remember down. the shake weight? <laughs> Get down. That's you. I mean, they say you, they, Adam, they say you, the black dude said you offered to give him some head. Who? Prior to the wife thing. No. He definitely said that. Nobody said that. He said that on, the Rockstar got interviewed. You are making that up. Rockstar got interviewed, bro. Anyway, you remember the shake weight? No, I don't know what that <laughs> is. Well, then that must be kind of awkward. Um, okay, how about this? As long as we're, we're discussing Young Boy earlier. A viral clip came out of his... Former security guard basically describing a situation in which he was at a hotel lobby, right? And Fulio from Florida pulls up to the hotel lobby with a bunch of people. Now, young boy is staying there. And I guess young boy came down and there was a bit of an argument going on. So this guy is not on the clock at that moment, but he had worked security a bunch for young boy. He sees this possible altercation brewing. And he says, goodbye, see you later. He dips the fuck out of there. He wasn't on the clock. What do you think? Bro, listen. I'm willing to guarantee you he was not primary security. Yeah, probably. Okay. It's a lot of times we add extra bodies. So, yeah, you're there because of NBA young boy. But... My man contracted you. And we got two T's. Two T's is a, is a head of security for uh, TDE, right? Okay. If two T's is head of security and, and top dog tell him, um, get us some extra bodies. And he get on the phone and he called three more dudes. Mm -hmm. They're there because two T's called them in. Ultimately, they're securing whatever artist it may be, right? Mm -hmm. So now here it is. You might have been there a day or two. They pay you, they release you. So now you're in this hotel, and this happens. NBA is not expecting you to do anything because you wasn't there because of him. Now, if that would have been his primary security, it's a different story. Right. But I, I think what he's leaving out, and he, he was never primary. He's not on the security detail that moves with him. I think he was an added body maybe a time or two. So he had no obligation to that. But like, okay, generally speaking, we have like one primary security guard here. If I was in an altercation in a hotel lobby and he just so happened to be there and he- That's your primary. But right. what if your primary had two other guys because you had a group of people coming up here and you wanted to make sure it was cool, right? Right. And they worked. Three days. Here. I don't even know their name, but they're here for three days, and then this is so a month later. So now you're in a yeah. fucking hotel room, yeah. and one of these dudes is in there. Right. He ain't obligated. Now he could step forward, get some brownie points, and in hopes that you bring him on. Right. That's his option. Because the whole thing about it is that if the guys, 
excuse is I'm not on the clock. Guess what? That's letting you know. If you save my ass in a moment where I really need it, I will definitely make it right. I'm not. I'm definitely. Now, you, you will be on the clock. I will this. pay for that night and many other nights now that you did nothing. For you. I will give you plenty of money if you save my ass. I'll retroactively decide that you were on the clock. Now here goes the next question. Okay. If you were in a hotel and your primary guy that we all know, mm-hmm. he ain't on the clock. He just happened to be there. Right. And he sees something going on with you. What is he going to do? I think he's getting down. Right. You know why? It's your primary security. Right. And I think a lot of these people that are questioning and interviewing these guys, they don't know shit. They can't even see through the smoke. Like how you gave that to me and that fast I was able to put that together. They don't know. Mm. So they're not going to ask the question. And long as they don't ask the question, he doesn't have to answer it. So it sounds good. I didn't see the full interview with this guy, but – you don't see a lot of security guards doing interviews in the first place. It's not really violation. I really don't want like a famous security guard. Violation. I want someone kind of quiet, chill, laid violation. back who's going to be observing the scene and doing his best to protect me. It seems a little clout chaser ish to even violation. be like, "Hey, I, I'm a security guard and I was there in the situation that we didn't even know about that Fulio apparently was trying to do something." It's a to young boy. That, you ever in Miami? You need security, real security that's going to cover you, right? Regardless, look at my team out of Miami guards, PK. Uh, go to the office, ask him, ask him, ask for his name, he'll pull up. Great guy, got a great team. Um, my man Seven, who's um, Nick Cannon security. Mm. Great guy. Of Incredibles diapers. Um, no, Incredible Entertainment. My kid will just randomly say, like, I want a whack diaper. Which is, she'll say about her cousin. Yeah. I want to get Noah a whack diaper. There it go. <laughs> You know, it's a few people got got great teams, uh, but I just think I don't know why he did that because other artists ain't gonna want him around. I don't know the brother. Yeah, maybe whatever. he's choosing to leave the field. Yeah, I don't know know the brother or whatever. Um, but I I don't think he was primary. I think he might have been an extra body that was brought on. Yeah, I've I've tried the security who's also trying to be famous thing. That doesn't usually work out too good. Did you? Oh, yeah, that bit. ain't cool. That yeah, ain't cool. Doesn't you usually say it works out. TD, you got a great security team. Right. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Um, Ice Cube, Big Kibo, they've been with him down there 25, 30 years. Great security team. You got to look at how long they've been there and has the artist been touched. Hmm. Great security team. Okay. Let me uh, throw this one at you. Brick Baby and Sharp had some negative remarks for academics the other day. Academics spent maybe like one live stream going at them, and then he decided to pull back, said – he got a call from someone who made him realize that he thought this was a waste of his time and his energy. I think I think all me, Brick, and Sharp kind of had the same reaction when we realized that he was uh, pulling back from it, even though I did not send them on this mission or anything. My reaction was, why didn't Top Dog? Like, I thought if anyone was going to, like, put the fear in him, it was going to be the Top Dog thing, right? A guy who's, like, barely put online. Put the fear in who? Ack. Um, first of all, we don't mention Top Dog. We don't mention him at all? At all. Like Voldemort? G homie, respectable man. We don't mention him. Maybe we can get him up here oh, and that's, have an interview. With love him. that idea. <clears throat> but we don't mention Top Dog. But he Second doesn't really all, do interviews, who do you right? think called? Who do you think called him? So you called Ak. You You're the secret phone call. You think I called him? Well, I mean, you tell me. I'm asking, you think I called him? Mm, if it was you, Ak probably would have said, Wack called me the other day, yada, yada. You, you, know, you know the problem with you, Adam? Tell me. You tell me all, all kinds you of problems with me. You don't, you don't uh, see that? What that? What's that? What that say? See that? Nine one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the date? Nine one. What's the date? When I called. I bet you. So you you sent the. I bet you. He called you back. I bet you that date lines up in that time. Sunday after. And when did he give his thing where he said he wasn't talking? So you called him. Show me your call log so I can see how long you talked to him. I talked to him for about 30 minutes. And you told him don't respond to Brick and Sharp? Definitely. But you didn't give him any advice about dealing with the top dog thing? Uh, that wasn't advice. That was what was he was, what's going to happen. So you hit up Ack and said, you keep talking about top dog, you're going to end up sleeping with the fishes. Nope. Or I SZA. seen it. Listen. SZA. SZA. I seen it. 
Um, and I didn't like it because I understand my brother and I knew he probably saw it and he don't have to call and tell me anything. And I put a call in the act and had a conversation with him and told him to respectfully leave that alone. Uh, Top Dog is a very respectable individual. He's a pillar in his community. He's a businessman. And uh, he's somebody that um, represents the West Coast, I feel, um, in a great way. So at the end of the day, there's no need um, for him to have to deal with this type of shit. Top Dog is one of my big homies. I do business with Act. So it was only right that I put a call in the act, say, yo, bro, leave that alone. Top Dog's not exercising any street methods um, to deal with any problems. He's not? No, definitely not. Are you just saying that because we're on camera? No, he's a very wealthy man. He's from Nickerson Garden Watts, right. born and raised. He gives back to his community, but he's a businessman. He's also put out some of our favorite celebrities because he owns a lot of properties. He does other things outside of music. But just because he from Watts, just because he come from where he come from, doesn't mean that when a problem occurs, he's automatically going to deal with something that he, in a way he did 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So <clears throat> Top didn't call me to get on Axe Bumper. He don't have to call me. If I see something and I know, I'm, I, you know, I know him and I know him, I'm going to put a call in so, you know, there's no need for that. Okay, so what did you say to Ack about Sharp and Brick Baby? Um, you're doing exactly what they want you to do. Uh -huh. Let's be real. Him addressing Brick Baby is equivalent to you responding to Rockstar on Instagram. Yeah, I didn't really feel the need to. <laughs> My point. No offense, Rockstar. No levels to this shit. I mean, it is what the fuck it is. Right, but I mean, that's always kind of been Axe's thing is that he does beef with big names, but he'll also yeah. beef with much, much smaller names in the name of good content. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I gave Sharp his opportunity. Did he tell you? What Sharp opportunity? You? What? And he dropped the fucking ball. What opportunity? I had, Remember when they first got into it? Axe and Sharp. Yep. Okay. I called Axe. I set it up. For Sharp to go on act show, uh -huh. I said, look, bro, you're going to tap into his fan base. He right over there in Jersey, whatever. Mm -hmm. He said he'd interview you. Y'all, do your thing. It's going to be big for you. Mm -hmm. That would have been a big look for Sharp. Do you agree? I mean, it would be a good look, yeah. Sharp says, whack motherfuckers going to be, I ain't no scary nigga, but motherfuckers going to be on some bullshit. Won't you come with me? Mm. No problem. I need to check on my house over there anyway. Let me know what day you want to go. We booked the flights. Oh, so you're actually going to Jersey. I was going to go with him oh. because he asked me to. I set it up. I get it. Well, whack. I really don't know you. Mm. You trying to send me out there. I know you be here, here, and everywhere. Right? Fuck it. You come with me. Right. No problem. Sharp didn't take advantage of the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So now I feel like Sharp clout chasing. Because what to, what's the continuous thing? Like, what is it to continue to talk about? Brick Baby doing what he's supposed to do. Say anything you want to say about Brick Baby. He going to study the game. And he going to see, okay, well, this will lead to that and that will lead to this. If I get a motherfucker to bite, then it's opportunity. So I don't fault Brick Baby for doing what he's doing. But Sharp should get out the way and let Brick run his play. Because mm -hmm. well, now it's starting to look like no jumper, the person that is on no jumper, they need to clout chase other motherfuckers' platform to get a look. And it's a bad look overall. But isn't that what everybody on every podcast nah, is fuck, doing? Nah, They're just kind of starting. Do well, I don't. I don't do it. I get accused of it all the time. You don't do that shit. I you talk speak about on topic. the ops. You talk about things that's there to talk about. Right. I try not to talk about them when there's nothing to talk about. That's my point. And granted, if you just bring it up over and over and over on stream, it's going to be And I don't know. I don't. It just felt like Act pulled back a little abruptly and we were all a little I surprised. told him. I called him that morning. You see it. Okay. I called him. Bro, leave that alone. What you doing? I disagreed with the way Brick Baby went about it too, because Brick Baby just kind of bought in on this like trans 
accusation that to me because I didn't okay see, I'm gonna jump on I'm gonna get out to say something back I didn't see any like real evidence that's so my point why even you know and, and kind of fuck your credibility and, up when you go crazy on them and, the integrity, and you don't have look, like real evidence the integrity of no jumper right I feel like it's like this build your shit on your shit mm -hmm. cause that's when I see no jumper that's what I respect you built this shit on your shit. Right. When it was SoundCloud rappers to this, to that, to this, to that. Mm. You built it and then you, you know, you expanded. So it was like, bro, no jumper ain't known for the personalities clout chasing on another motherfucker's platform. I don't know if I agree with that. It feels like the last couple of years of No Jumper have been very much colored by the dynamic of people cloud chasing and talking shit. Who? Uh, I'm not going to go into details, but don't be no punk. A Cletus? lot of people at, at a certain point Cletus? over the last Who? year, people have said No Jumper is the new Jerry Springer show. No Jumper is the new whatever. The drama was very much the thing drawing people in for a long period of time. Now we've kind of who mowed, was No Jumper cloud chasing? We on? mowed the grass. The snakes have been shown, and hold now on, we've cleaned on. things up a bit. Hold on. See, because you're making accusations now. <laughs> there and are many see, snakes. I'm one of them old heads that I got to clear up what you're talking about. Who are you referring to as a snake? Oh, did I say that? I'm just talking in general. A very you general to? sense. You're not calling AD a snake, are you? No, no. You, you ain't calling T-Rell a snake, are you? I would never. Okay, cool. Although I, I got to make he sure. He does kind of have like a snake type no, 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 to him. No, no, no. Yo, stop disrespecting T-Rail. <laughs> like that. That ain't cool. Did you hear about the gay crip dropping his flag? He never had a flag. This why them two bozos look crazy even giving this motherfucker that type of light. Oh, he had a flag. He might have gone to Michael's and bought it, but he had a flag. Listen, they should have never acknowledged that dude. In no way. I am kind of surprised that they did. Because I had nothing to do with making that happen. Never for the it. They in there winking at the dude and licking their lips and giving them and sandwiches. Talking about I wish you I know you wish it was a nine incher and, and <laughs> did you get did you get put on or fucked on? Like, yeah, bro, that right? ain't that ain't how that's supposed to go. That was the craziest part of yeah, that. Like, first I don't know what that was about. And, and then you got Brick Baby sitting there like, yep, 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 cuz so <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, hood! Did, so did you get uh, hey, uh, uh, how you be moving and shit, nigga? You are too concerned with that shit. Now, as a West Coast nigga, nigga, I, listen, that's nigga, that's a misrepresentation of the Break, culture. If you did an impersonation of him as good as the one he just did of you, then I would be laughing too. So I'm not picking sides there, Brick. That, but that was that was shout out good. to have Compton. You, have Rick you been working Rock. on that? No, it's you just went, what it is. You what linked up with Ari Spears and he, he I really wish impression. you would tell him, bro, to snap out of that shit. Listen, this real shit. Snap out of what? I think Brick can be a great host. I think he is great. BBB. But he's too caught up in, in this in this character he has to be to where he can't really be who he is. Do you feel like it's a he character? He gotta be this dude that's super cool, getting high, and is it's like a dude, you ever talk to a dude that says, you know what I mean? Every three words, you know what I mean? Feel your motherfucker, you say it so much, you sound dumb as fuck. So everything about his his persona, if he was to, if he was to, bro, I, I will pay him not to do an interview, smoking weed, and just focus on the interview. You'll get a total different brick, baby. Sometimes I do think about that. that I'm I, telling I you, wonder, we, ne we never talked about it. If he dropped the perks, I wonder what his podcast and style would look oh, like. Oh, I'm just being real. I but think, listen, I don't fuck with him, but I ain't how no he's living. Look, I don't fuck with him. Half the people we know are smoking cigs and smoking weed all that the time, That don't right? make it right. But, I mean, there's a lot of other people who smoke weed all the time on the podcast, right? I think he's more focused on getting high and what he looks like getting high and how he's supposed to act high, that he thinks something that's cool and really not cool. I think you're in denial about the fact that someone like him really actually like likes getting high and really almost needs to get high. Did you just hear what you said about that man? You just called him a dope fiend. We can move on We're to the next We're talking about topic. weed. You said it, not me. We're talking about weed. Whenever you say a motherfucker, no, you mentioned weed perks. Weed and, and camels with no, no, with no filter. You just mentioned perks. 
Well, that, his, I don't know nothing about all he that. He uses many things. Okay, there you go. And you said he needs to get high, which means these many things he uses – it's, it's you saying he's right, need he's for. not popping perks on camera. He's rolling blunts and Listen, smoking man, cigarettes. Only thing I'm saying, I would love to see a segment of a sober brick baby, not focused on the blunt, focused on uh, whoever the individual is in front of him or the topic. I think we would get a great interview. Would you, I'm not dirty Mackinney. Would you sit down with Gay Tony? What who? The former Gay Hoover Crip. Sit and talk about what? Everything. No, we're not talking about cripping. I'm not disrespecting the key ways that I got respect for acknowledging him as a crip. Can you talk about his, his past as a crip? No, we're not talking about cripping at all. Period. Okay, maybe we don't have to do it. it feels like, that don't even make sense. I feel like now that he's kind of left the cripping behind, it's like, oh, you're just a, a gay dude. And he is good on camera. He's, he's, he ain't left nothing behind because it was never ahead of him. was never with him. Well, OG Percy co-signed him. I don't know who that individual is. Now, that's somebody I want to get on the show. I don't know who that is. I don't know who he is. Seems Perfect. like a legend. Um, but, no, I de- I'm not finna. I got too many. My niggas from 8, 9, East Coast, Deco, and them over there. My man Compton, Rick Rock, um, Blue from Long Beach, Big Fave from Long Beach. You know, I got a, a host of um, Crip Potters, Runchy from Gray Street. You know, a lot of Crip guys I fuck with. I'm not finna disrespect them like that. But you can sit this. down with them and tell them. I'm not cool with your cripping. No, because I don't acknowledge him as that. They don't acknowledge him as that. And we're not finna give him that light. It's okay. 50, 60 years of this shit. And all of a sudden you get somebody that want to play with it. Cripping, believe it or not, is part of the culture. <clears throat> as blood and Paul ruin is. So it, it got to be respected. For sure. Because at the end of the day, on the collective, we want to be respected. Because when we move together as a coast, that's part of our movement. I guess I just don't understand why you're allowed to have trans people in your clubhouse rooms, but you can't have a gay dude in a gang. Um, the world there is are changing. gay people in gangs. But they're just not open on, about bro. it? They're Hold not on. open? Is Hold that on. the difference? Some are, some not. It's, it's, it's gay motherfuckers in gangs. Right. What do you mean? If it wasn't, you wouldn't have the, the, the prison stories. Right. So you're not going to get me... To say, <clears throat> but not everybody who rapes someone in prison is is gay, right? Bullshit. If you penetrate orally or anally another man, you're gay. What if you live in a culture in which that's just a way of that's establishing gay dominance? Culture. Period. Like, there's no in between for that. That's if you penetrate anally or orally another man, giving or receiving, you're gay. What if it's just to get some get back? I don't get, then you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> you can stab him another way. <laughs> what, Kisu, baby. what if I just want to let this motherfucker know how it is? So I got to, yeah, yeah, have, yeah. That means you have gay thoughts and gay tendencies. Oh, yeah. And you're acting out a gay act. But it's it's based around revenge, not love. Don't matter. I'm not going to do it. I'm just trying to figure out what the rules are. No, I'm just real shit. I mean, that's, we talk about manhood. Fuck some gang. I want to take his. Yeah, that's so bullshit. what if, because I was I was talking to Bosco the other day about us potentially boxing. Who? Bosco, 100. Who boxing? Me and him. Not going to happen. Why not? I'm advise, I'm your manager in kind of boxing, you right? You think I'm too big? I'm advising you against that. Yeah, I could see that. But I was telling him that once I knock his ass out in the middle of the squared circle, then I'm going to spit on his asshole. And he was implying that he thought that was gay. That's very gay. No. I'm going to pull the lace, the string on his boxing shorts, yank him down, Hold on. spread his cheeks. Hold on. Sh- ah! Hold, on. Hold on. Listen. Big old Luke. Respectfully. You don't like that? I don't really fuck with Bosco like that, but he from Queen Street Bloods. Right. The homies, this is not a gang Hold thing. On. This is Hold a boxing on. Hold thing. Hold on. Hold on. The homies over there still embracing. Don't up my nigga. We can't have no gay talk about Bosco. Okay. Now, if you want to talk that shit to Bosco where he can defend himself, okay, you're right. Great. Because I did tell we, him this to his face. Yeah, we can't. We okay. Can't. But to in his terms face. Of, but people, wait, 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 wait. People from his neighborhood. You told him that to his face? Yes. You told him what you just said to his face. I told him I'm put a jalapeno in there, too. And what did he do? I don't know. Seemed, seemed kind of offended, to be honest. Let me get this right. Because I think you capping. <laughs> 
You told Bosco in his face these things. Well, it was, it was kind of like a, a boxing thing. I don't give a fuck. Y'all was right here in the same space. Yeah, yeah. Bosco, that ain't solid on me. You were supposed to broke his shit. I think you needed to catch the vibe in the room. We were vibing. Nah. His homies in here, you say that. I apologize to his homies. I don't want them to think that there's anything yeah, weird we going on like here. That. It was just a boxing thing. And in my culture, when you knock somebody out, you spit on their butt. So how many times you been knocked out? Mm, that's a good question. Like at least once. Oh, I don't even want to know no more. We Maybe twice. Right I don't know. We leave it right there. Okay, I but, need some no jumper pillows too, bro. How about this? My first time ever in Long Beach. I Shout out to my man P923. Nice Shout out to every single TR, person in Long I just, Beach. I just met TR Blue, Henderson Blue. Why do so. I say Long Beach? You just start bringing up all these I mean, they're my man, big no, fan. Shout out to them for sure. Yeah, but, my okay, so I, I go in the bar, I, and I, I realize that someone is there that I really want to fuck up. This is like 15 years ago. So I go into the bar. I spot him. I run towards him. I start beating the shit out of him. Then somebody comes up on the side of me who basically like works at the bar and is – in charge of, I guess, defending the integrity of the bar. And while I'm fighting this dude, he walks up and bow and just mashes me in the side of the head. I, I don't think I was like laid out, knocked out, but I was definitely like, like my brain wasn't working right. My homies had to kind of like grab me and like walk me to the car and then they got me the fuck out of there. I don't, does that count as knocked out? He don't think you. I wouldn't have been able to pass a sobriety test. Let's put it that way. You seen them since? I was sober. Yeah, yeah. What you do when you see me? Uh, I mean, we had, scared? we had some tense exchanges. Was you scared? Over years. No, not really. Oh, the guy who hit me. We yeah. actually we ended up patching it up years later. Yeah. It, and you was just cool with that. I mean, yeah, like four years later, I had a conversation with him. You know, what we call that being a pussy. I guess bitch ass nigga. You're not allowed to just squash some shit down the road when the you're not nigga, mad about it anymore. That nigga dope fiends you and knocked you out. So what was I supposed to? You got to get your lick back. Mm, you're right. You want to go to Long Beach? Hey, we a white dude? We're going to ride. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I, I kidding. know a few people. Shout know out Chad. He's a good guy. Beach. His name's Chad. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat up a guy named Chad. The kids can, though. <laughs> what kids? You got kid shooters? That's a little inside. Ch joke child shooters? Old tiny Rob. You got child uh, sh children shooters? We don't have them type of conversations. No, 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 no. You really the police, ain't you? <laughs> You really the police, huh? Um, and you know what? It would be crazy if you was really a plant. That what would be a great tale. If it ever comes really out. It would be like some Donnie Brasco type shit. See, this is the problem, though. I don't have anything to tell the cops. You know? Bullshit. What am I going to tell them? I, I can't think of anything I could tell the cops that they don't probably already know because it's in, like, YouTube videos. What are you doing? My electrician. He's coming? Nah, he in my backyard. I got like 98 lights. And like 40 of them went out last night. Why? I don't know. Why do you need 98 lights? Well, I got um, 12, 13 holes of miniature golf throughout oh, the backyard. Yeah, yeah. So I got those little lights, and then the flood lights. And you got real grass or fake grass? Um, I have the fake grass going through all the pavers in my backyard. Then I got like probably like a... 50 by 60 of real grass. I don't think real grass is for me. Those gophers, man, we had like a fucking... Yeah, I got one been fucking with me. We had a mesh like net installed under the ground so that the gophers wouldn't be able to continue to fuck our yard up. And somehow they like destroyed the mesh net or the, the wire net. And they're just like in our fucking shit. Like, like our yard That's looks crazy. horrible. It's, it's looked horrible for the majority of the last five years. Yo, um, shout out to... um. St. Louis. Why? Sexy Red? Or Nelly? You're the only person I know who just randomly starts hey, staring into their phone like hey, this. Yo. What? What do you got? Nah, it's a wild shit. That probably is be sending me wild Why was saying shout out St. Louis? Shout out to the St. Lunatics. This is a wild shit, bro. Show me whatever you have. Um, no, nah, I'm doing a, um, a diaper giveaway with um, 104.1 Princess Storm. You know what I'm saying? My artist looked out for me and they gave me some dope drops. Let's check this one out. 
Yo, what up, what up? St. Louis. You already know who it is. It's the game. And you're listening to High 104.1. In honor of National Diaper Need Awareness Week, Incredible Diapers partnered with Princess Storm to help the families out there in the loop. Shop IncredibleDiapers.com. All right? The game. I'm out of here. We lucked out. We sent him 100 cases, 8,000 pieces, people in need. He didn't really sound like he actually cared about diapers. Are you crazy? I think you need to have him redo it nah, with a little bro, bit more nah, energy. Don't do that. Yeah. Blueface did one for me, too. He looked out for me. Yeah, he probably don't care about diapers either. He Speaking did, of, there's a topic. He just had a baby. Right. He hasn't seen it yet, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. They'll uh, probably, probably tap in eventually. I mean, he's there. I mean, you know, this is the same man that, you know, she been around the last three years helping build her career. You know, she knows he's not a threat. Well, not a threat, but she doesn't want him around, right? Uh, you think a, any parent has that right? Especially if either parent is a threat to the child's safety? I don't think he's done anything that I know of to mean that he shouldn't be around his own kids. That's my point, so, you know. Right. You know, um, women scorn ain't no telling what they're doing. How do you feel about the kid having a booking email in their bio? A what? A booking email. Who? Oh. Like in the kid's bio on Instagram, it says Who like. Who did that? Krishan. Christian Rock. Wait, wait. To book the kid? <laughs> well, yeah, I know. It sounds kind of crazy to me, too. I don't know exactly what you'd be booking the kid for, but maybe like an She's ad campaign. She's soliciting the kid to be booked? That is what I understand. I don't well, know, may, if, may, the, wait, 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 I don't know if the booking email has been. Well, no, moved. wait. Maybe it's for baby shit. Well, that's what I assume. Yeah, probably not adults. Yeah, shit. yeah, maybe it's for baby shit. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, oh, I yeah. haven't seen a child, but, you know, a uh, nephew makes uh, beautiful kids. Yeah, look at this. Krishan Malone Jr., booking slash inquiries, krishanrockmusic at gmail.com. Well, I mean, hey, look, she's, she's working early. You know, hey. Um, the what? kid's first post on Instagram has 2.7 million likes. Yeah, I mean. What uh, the fuck? 930,000 followers. My kid, before we stopped posting on her Instagram, I think got up to like 30K. So that means that Blueface's kid is like at least 30 times more lit than my kid, which really no, kind of helps listen, me put things in if, perspective. If she's, um, she put that up there, I would think, you know, it's a lot of uh, things for children to do. Why is the baby not following Blueface? The baby is only following the mom. That's fucked up. You got to admit that's fucked up. Oh, that's, you know, that's Krishan. End of the day. I would I think, sue her listen, for the baby not following me. I think when she stops being mad and, you know, she'd be all right. Back to normal. Why is my fucking wife liking the photo of the baby? She's one of the 2.7 million people. Gah. The baby don't even follow her. That, now that's cloud chasing. She's cloud chasing off a baby. Free land of the plug. Yeah, I give Chris Sean the benefit of the doubt on that. I believe she's just probably positioning the baby to, you know, be able to. Who, who wouldn't want to see their baby on um, ads or anything else? Yeah, but do you want to turn your baby into a celebrity as soon as they're born? Well, I mean, if that's as a parent, that's her right. That's their right. I mean, should she have a conversation with Blueface? I definitely think she should. Um, the blue face was on commercials as a child as, as himself. Yeah, but to be fair, his parents probably like needed the money, whereas they nah, were, you don't know what they needed, right? But they would just be I doing. I believe this. his mother went and signed her. She children. has plenty of money. She signed, she doesn't have to be sending her, her kid off yeah, to shoot Walmart ads. There's right? nothing wrong with Krishan um, positioning a child, you know, to do things like that. Now, do I think she should have a conversation with Blueface? Yes, I do. Uh, do I think it's a ploy to kind of get him going? Yeah. But I don't think she, she's, like, trying to do nothing crazy with the baby. If my kid got offered a modeling job, I would say thanks, but no thanks. She's going to go to school instead. Or she's going to go hang out with her friend next door. Like, why does the kid need to be the one bringing in money when they're, like, a year old, two years old? Nothing wrong with that, brother. Maybe she's going to put it in a, a savings account. Okay.
See, I mean, I feel like we should cut the parts out where you're just staring at your phone. Nah, fuck Why don't you bro. put your phone on Do Not Disturb during the podcast? Nah, fuck that, bro. Okay, well, how about this? Once you start texting on your phone, we'll just... Why? Go quiet. Because whack be the whack. people at home are watching this, and they don't want to watch talking. you fucking stare into you, your they phone. They want to watch whack be whack. You be the white Nobody boy you are. on earth, I promise you this. You be the this, white boy you are. I have a news I'm flash for you. Nobody at home wants to watch you stare into your Nobody fucking phone. Nobody in the comments has complained yet. Yes, they do. No, they have You don't read the comments. Yes, I do. You don't even know where the I comment section comment is reader. on YouTube. I have a comment reader. Aaliyah... Fucking Danny, they're my cop. Tommy, they're my common readers. So they read the comments, but then they don't tell you that the people are annoyed by you looking at your phone? They tell me everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You need new I comment readers. I got everything. Yeah, but you're not doing great at anything. Great. Definitely. Uh, well, you don't want to give me my props, bro. I'm just trying to give you some advice. Staring into the phone, props. I don't know. But you don't mind me when I use my phone to call somebody that's beneficial to you. But you realize that... In that case right there, we were potentially having an actually good conversation hey bro, Lee, about the all, child being booked per, and everything, and instead all, you were staring into your phone all, playing Snake. First of all, part of our uh, understanding is don't nothing get edited. Leave our shit organic. No, I'll definitely leave that in because I think it kind of exposes how the dynamic could be better on this podcast. No, they let men expose how you got a dope fiend on your other show, and that dynamic could be better. Nobody it, is in denial about that. Okay, well, you should really work on that. I think that's <laughs> not a, a literal dope about my goddamn phone. Right. Well, I'm just giving you. I my don't advice. think nothing's wrong. The only thing maybe we do I, a, we'll do a poll on the premiere. The of this only video. thing I feel like she should have a conversation with Blueface about whatever's going on with the child. Other than that, I don't think she's doing. She's gonna do any some crazy shit. With the child. So let me ask you this. If you had a three-year-old and you got an offer for X amount of money, but she's got to spend two days out of every week doing modeling gigs. And think, that's you, what you the, that's mother good, was, the mother was cool but with Do you it? think that's the best thing for the kid? What else is the kid doing two days out of Going to week? school. A three-year-old? I mean, my kid's in preschool. She's not even three. Okay, but who says the kid can't go to school? What kind of school are they going to miss two days out of the week? I just feel like the kid's existence should be predicated around having childlike experiences and growing as a person and not making money. Now, granted, um, that's a very privileged I don't think the child, attitude. Listen, it's not about the child thinking about making money. I think it's about memories for the child, actually, when it comes to the parent. Well, they're three, so they're not going to have memories of this either way. No, it is definitely, because now when the child is of age, they can look back at themselves. And be like, look at how how hard I was working when I was no, three. just check themselves out. <laughs> I wish that I could find... Some footage when I was playing football when I was young like that, five, six years old. I guess that I could see how the modeling thing is maybe a little different because then you have cool photos that you could have as a memory. Yeah. But in general, I don't think a kid should be working when they're that young, right? It just seems like kind of a waste of their child. They're not working. They're playing. Like, it's not like... Yeah, right. You know, a that, photo shoot? You know how long that shit takes? Yeah, but I mean, the kid's going to be wherever the kid's going to be regardless. Right. Well, I don't think Blueface has been consulted about... No, and I really, like, you know, if I was to say, hey, what do I think Krishan needs to do differently? I would say, you know, have a conversation with Blueface about everything that's going on with the child. Okay, next topic. What's going on with you and Mimo 600? Nothing, the motherfucker lied. He said you only wanted to sign him to beef with Lil Durk after he was unceremoniously removed from OTF, allegedly. And I put the content up. That I didn't wouldn't sign him because he couldn't provide me a release. Why that's on your page right now? Yeah, he couldn't provide me a release. I put the whole text thread up. So how did you even start communicating with this kid? Uh, Curry, Chicago. Kid Curry from Chicago, nephew brought him. Said, "Yo, wag dude, trying to get a situation. He want to meet you, and he brought him to my room with some shit. Maybe called me on the three way. I don't even know the cool. Never seen him a day in my life. What you want, Brody? This memo, lock me in. Yo." Mm -hmm. So he was trying to get his Instagram back. Look, keep going, yeah, keep going down. He asked me, I'll pay for a video negative. Studio time negative. I called Empire. They said they were doing distribution. They'll sign a release. But they did tell me you're signing a little dirt. I'm not going to step on, step on little dirt's toes. Read it. Until you give me a release from little dirt, I can't do nothing with you. I got respect for dirt. So he's still signed on paper with... OTF? You're reading it. It was and, an album deal, but that shit's all over with. That's what he said. And what did I tell him? You. Provide me with what? 
um, I'm this is slowly what? scrolling through the screen right now. We should probably put this on the screen so everyone can see it. Put it up there. It. Yeah, put it up. Provide me with a release. I don't take no artist's word for it. Why is he asking you for 400 bucks? Because he was broke. <laughs> Can't do it. I've never seen you. I ain't got no new music on you. Yo, Wack, can you set up the studio for me in Atlanta? Hey, Wack. Wasn't going for it. Can you get Trina on the song for me? Wow, he's asking for a lot of really cool ideas. All kind of shit. He wanted ain't you to gave, get him a, a Ain't getting a release yet. Okay, so I think this is where it gets good, right? Hey, bro, are you working with me or not? I feel like shit is slowing down waiting on you to help and reply to me. I think you got too much going on to focus on me, so I'm going to just keep pushing on my own good-looking dough. You say, Mimo, business is business. You could do as you want. My work happens 24-7. I'll cancel the play. I respect your decision. The setup brings the exposure, not the other way around. Gazi just cleared you on his side. Derek Peoples need to do the same. I'm not like them. When I go, I go, and it costs, so it's got to happen, right? And where's the music? Don't make emotional decisions. Should I keep reading this? Yeah, where the fuck is the release? You can't give me a release from Dirk. I'm not talking to you. I'm not helping you with studio time. I'm not helping you with nothing. One thing Dirk know is whack no better. Right? Okay. When's the last time you talked to Dirk? Um, Why is the whole sca- the whole game is scared of Dirk, huh? Nobody's scared of Dirk. Why you gotta be like, <laughs> see, that's that bitch shit. <laughs> it's like when two black men have respect for each other, you want to say that somebody's scared of somebody. No, but I mean, Dirk has pretty successfully blacklisted a bunch of people from the industry. I don't know nothing about that. I, the little Dirk I know, been cool little Dirk. Just, you know, little Dirk. I don't know nothing about that. No, he's a cool guy. But, I mean, he's, he's clearly got a lot of control over this music. Industry. I don't know nothing about that. I know he got dope music. I watched him. Apple Music stopped promoting Youngboy because of Dirk. I watched him come in with a buzz. I watched him fall off. Mm-hmm. I, I used to run into him in little clubs in New York when he was by himself. Right. I watched him reinvent himself and come back up. I respect the man's, the man's grind. Let me ask you this. Where are you at with Young Magn- Magnificent at this point? Um, what you mean? Your he, artist. You brought him on the yeah, podcast the other day. His EP is working. His numbers is great. He put out his song, but yeah. you were upset about the fact that he released it without yeah, your like approval. Now, is this a real beef? Because it occurred to me that maybe this was a, a was, fake whack beef. It wasn't beef. no real beef. It was just... A real disagreement. New artists. We don't go in the booth fucking with you. Mm-hmm. Once the product is turned in, let us market it. If I got a premiere at 1 o'clock, you understand this shit, right? I do. And then 1 p.m. Saturday, premiere. I waited. You know, we got to wait for that shit. Then I look up at fucking midnight, and you didn't put some shit up. What happens with the premiere? Yeah. Well, I didn't spend my money already, though. Right. Fuck that. I'm not. That, that ain't how that work, bro. Right. And that's a problem. So is this going to stop your relationship? No, I just forward? don't look. I put in the shit what they put it into it. I don't. I ain't got time on to point my where I'm at as an exec. To either you're doing right, that's going to happen right. If you on bullshit, I'm going to let you be on bullshit. Uh-huh. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to call you. I'm going to have a conversation with you. I'm going to let you know what it is and what it ain't. And then I'm going to keep moving forward. You know, if you start doing what you know you're supposed to do, the shit you got to do don't cost you no money. Mm -hmm. The shit I do for you costs money. Mm -hmm. Then so be it. But, like, let shit happen. Yeah, for sure. I'm a Y'all do some fucked up shit over here. I'm a control freak. What are you talking about? Uh, you're going to complain about not getting your reels sent to you on time? Bro, you motherfuckers are releasing the fucking shit. Ain't no promo around. I agree that sometimes the promo. The fuck? The promo not coming out until the next day. It's is, some it's, bullshit. It's not ideal. Yeah, But, but what it's you, not really that big a deal either. No, it is. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the fact that you are so passionate about it. So I'm not going to. That's crazy. I'm like, it. yo, I got people telling me the clip is out. The interview is out. I don't even know the motherfuckers out. The reason why that took a little they longer. They don't even send me the link. I'm like, yo, ain't no promo clips, no nothing. People calling me, hey, whack, dope interview. What interview? Okay. I'm like, yo, it's out? You want me to explain? That's we didn't, crazy. We didn't have the titles done 
until like the day that the episode came out. So the editor was still cutting the TikToks as it was being released. So there was a bit of a delay. Listen, brother. This but it was real. like eight hours. Look, I ain't telling you how to float your ship, right? Float? Listen. While you going to do what you doing with YouTube and all that shit and waiting them to clear shit, mm -hmm. that don't stop the fucking editors from creating the promo clips. Right. You don't have to wait till you get clearance over here to promote that. That shit should be already done. Now, you can dictate, determine. But I what, have to confirm the titles before listen, the editor listen, can start cutting the TikToks based the, on the titles. Listen, what the fuck they got to, when we walk out of here today, he has the footage. Mm. I'm watching the dude. Every time we say something that may possibly be a punchline, I'm seeing him do something. I'm assuming he's keeping track of time, time frames of when something was said. It's nothing stopping him from creating that shit and have it sitting there. So whenever you do whatever you do, right? And they're like, okay, we're clear for whatever, whatever date. I feel like I already explained this. Yeah. Right? We, cool. We finished the title. But you're doing it. The episode came out immediately after. And the editor was editing the titles That's as it was released. backwards. Because it takes a couple hours. That's I mean, it would have been nice backwards. if we had the titles done a couple days in advance. There it goes. We just didn't because we create a so lot of content. So why can't his assignment We create a done, lot of content. But why can't his assignment be when we're done? He can go cut these promo clips. It's fucking 30 seconds, 45, a minute, whatever it is. Right? Let me tell you this. I do this for a living. And I care more about promoting and creating content for the fans than pretty much anything else in the world. And I don't really think it's that big a deal if the TikToks don't come out until the next day. Man, fuck a TikTok. That's one platform. A TikTok, a real, a short, it's all the same thing. Okay, what I'm saying is we shouldn't be promoting after the shit release. Yes, you should. That, no, we should continue to promote after release. Promoting it beforehand, I think, is stupid. Promoting Bullshit. it immediately as if it you comes out is coming fine. out at 2 p.m., right? At about 1.30, 1.45, that shit should be going up. Okay. 15 minutes beforehand? I mean, that's all right, I guess. Because now it's alerting the people this new clip is about to come out. Right. I'm just saying, I don't think alerting them in advance of the premiere you know, you know what your is problem super is? important. You have lost focus. No, I on, have not. Hold on. I just know a on lot more about this. On the things you did before you got big, you think you shouldn't do those things anymore. We weren't making TikToks before I got big. It didn't exist yet. Bro, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I understand that you think that you understand the impact of posting a reel 15 minutes before the video comes this, out. Bro. I'm just saying it doesn't really matter that no, much. No, it does matter. No, not really. You just fucked up. I've been up. doing this for a long time. So you're saying we can't promote the fucking shit before it comes out? That's I mean, weird. If you want to, I guess it's okay. I don't promote anything before it comes out in terms of posting the TikTok. Well, I tell you what. You be the motherfucker that promoted after it come out, and I be the motherfucker that promoted before it come out. There it go. Send me my clips. Two of them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are an asshole. Uh, I, I have, like, maybe one more question. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> you got me. That's a beef as a bud here, Bobby. This might exactly. be my final question. What up? What up? Ever. Um... Steve will do it of the Nuck Boys. Are you familiar? Steve. Um, yeah, I think I met him once. Small white Steve, guy. That's, he used to be with 6 9 He was friends with him. The other day he went on Instagram and he said that 6 9 is a woman beater, a pedophile. He accused him of hitting his girlfriend with a car. Steve, nah. Steve said all that. Search Steve will do it 6 9 and you'll like find role it. managing for 6 9 They're in some sort of beef. Now, That's crazy. I, I watched Ak talk about it, and he was being he was keeping it close to his chest exactly what their problem is. But apparently, there was some kind of business deal that didn't work out, and Steve feels like in some way Six Nine is responsible for him missing out I'm on money. To, I remember that. Dude. I'm not sure why. Um, but see, I'm gonna say this: to Steve will do it. Did he know these things prior to him getting upset? About whatever he's mad about. 
Well, I'm, I'm with you on that. And he more than a bitch than a bitch. Because if you knew these things, these yeah. alleged things supposed to happen, and you said nothing about it Until, because you're making yeah. money with him or whatever's going on, now all of a sudden you're mad about something. Oh, you're this, 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 and that. Well, if he was these things now, he was that then. So why didn't he say nothing then? I completely agree. I think he capping. Everybody does this to me. He cap it. As soon as we stop working together, ah, he's a rapist. It had never happened with they, me. They never have that. It had never until, happened with me uh, until he's after the capping. Fact. Yeah, that's cap. I told six nine that Steve was a bozo. I remember him now. Really? Because I caught him stealing money. Stealing money. Yeah, from I caught him six, stealing nine. money. It was a show up in Colorado. Yep, I got the content too. It was a show up in Colorado through my boy AD. Who used to, remember AD used to work at K Day. No. Used to be the program director. Uh, I know a different <clears throat> Adrian Scott. Um, he called me, said, Yo, they booked 6 9 on this show. So they called me. I said, It ain't got nothing to do with me. He said, Send me the contract. I called 6 9 He said, Y'all know about it. I said, What did he tell you? The number he told 6 9 was a total different number he charged them. Then he had the nerve to turn around and say, Hey, we could reschedule it, but I need another 20 grand or 10 grand. And they sent it to him. And Steve, then he went dark. Steve was doing all this? Yeah, he did that. I feel he like Steve that. has like an insane amount of money from all that gambling if, no, streaming if, shit. No, if this is the same dude that used to be on the road with him. I don't think he was on the road with him. No, like it was a, a super famous YouTuber who lives in Florida. Yeah, no, it was a dude that used to be on the road with him. If it's the same dude, it's a dude named Steve. If it's the same dude, he did a lot of shit. Steve, now, if it's not, then it's not him. Steve will do it. Yeah, this dude I'm talking about was role managing for 6ix9ine. This dude. 6 9 put him in a few of his uh, videos and shit. No. Yeah, like when they was in Dubai. Remember he did the shit? Made some vlogs up? and stuff, you Remember yeah. when he, was he there? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. They hang out in Miami and whatnot. I think that's him. Well. Rick would know. Rick would know. I don't, I don't know. I don't see. like the fact that, I don't like the fact that if you knew all these things prior to, like, you seen him hit a girl with a car. Like, come on, bro. Like, like. But if you saw me hit a girl with a car, would you would you go tell TMZ right away? No, I'm gonna stop you. Right. I'm gonna stop you. But then, it, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you wouldn't go rat on me right away. No, but. I'm gonna stop you. And if you needed, if you was a fuck out of line, you gonna know that, bro. You you out of line. I'm not going to hit my girl with a car for the record. No, I'm just saying, like, I would stop you. Like, bro, what the fuck you doing? But, I, like, once we had a conversation and understanding, there's nothing for me to talk about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you did? And listen, bro, if y'all handled that, deal with that, there's nothing for you to talk about. Yeah. We need more information. We need to know about the deal that didn't work out with them. Something must have happened. Wh if it's that guy. What is your overall feeling that you've been left with after that TK, uh, TQ Hatch interview? Um, you think he's on the up and up? Or no, we just we just brought him back on Clubhouse yesterday. <clears throat> this is, Bootsy is the bozo. Bootsy is the bozo. I'm going to tell you why. Wow. Did he sign his brother's name with the revamped contract with him in blue? Yes, he did. Okay. Did Bootsy know he was doing it? Fuck yes. Right. Did he sign other shit prior to for Bootsy? Fuck yes. It been business too long, right? But Bootsy's um, hate for his brother to not to want to see him make any money clouded his mind to a point that he said, he forged my name on that contract with Blue, which means... This contract is null and void. So you fucked yourself. Oh, he forged it? So that means his contract don't mean nothing. That means us doing business directly with Blue is legal. He fucked himself because with him trying to cut his brother's throat, he cut his own throat. Mm. If he wouldn't have said nothing, he would have still had his lawsuit. But when he said he forged it, like if it's a no jumper thing and I forged your name. If they find out I forged your name and this is a contract with whoever, right? Mm -hmm. They can say this contract's null and void. It's fraudulent. Whatever's spelled out on this contract doesn't mean anything. You never signed it. Right. 
So but now that's actually what happened. That's that, that's this right. lawsuit is going away because lawsuit, it's the, gone. It's already gone. It's gone. Just because of one thing that there it said. Goes. Wow. Fuck yourself. He listen. He didn't want his brother to eat. Uh huh. That now that's crazy. But his brother yesterday, I had to tell him some fucked up shit. I might send you the clip. He was like, you know. I'm always there for Bootsy. When he went to jail in San Diego, I was calling around for attorneys and try. I said, bro, Bootsy told you he don't fuck with you. Leave him alone. He didn't want to pull back. He finally got it last night. I said, bro, your brother doesn't fuck with you. Yeah. That don't do weird. anything he doesn't want you to do. That's his right. Leave him alone. Mm. He was like, but, but there's no buts. Motherfucker jumped out on you with a bat. He put you in a lawsuit knowing you got to spend money you don't have. He didn't told the family he don't want to talk to you. Yeah, he clearly doesn't fuck with him. But he's like, well, I'm going to still beat it for my brother. No, leave him alone. Stop trying to go around him. Stop trying to contact him. Right. I mean, when I was having that conversation with him, I started to kind of think that. It's so obvious that whatever relationship he has with Boosie is not working. That Boosie doesn't there, respect he, him. He don't fuck Boosie with him. doesn't want to see him win. Boosie doesn't want to do business with him. But it's kind of like he has no choice but to continue to sort of try to utilize the Boosie connection because being close to That's fame is so night. valuable. That it's I like told him. He could break off and do his own thing. That's what I told but, him. But then all you really have is just your resume that consists of shit that you did for Boosie earlier. I asked career. him. He said he went and revamped the Badass Entertainment Corporation. Mm. I said, why? That is Bootsy's name. Right. Why would you just operate under your the other name? You know why? Because you want to utilize that name for some clout. And Bootsy's letting the world know he don't fuck with you. I wouldn't even touch that company. Badass entertainment. Mm. When you hear that, you hear Bootsy. So for you to run around under that, that's running around under false pretense. I'm still kicking myself because I wish I had told him that there's actually a new badass in town. Don't say that. It's the king of Bompton. I'm not, bro. Stop playing with that. No? You don't do that. That's, Bompton that's, G, you know? Listen. What? That's a real thing. And dude is a known rat, and you can't be saying that. Well, I don't know anything yeah, well, I'm letting you know we ain't playing with that. Okay. Well, the king of Bompton throne will remain unfilled at this time. There's a lot of kings. Well, oh, there's Bompton. many kings, yeah. A lot of kings in Bompton, a lot of kings everywhere. San Diego, Sacramento, everything in between. Bequemer, Inglewood, Watts. It's a lot of kings. What's up? Look, he heard Bompton. Yeah, you heard that? Homie that's stuck one his head the, in. That's one of the kings of Bompton. Did somebody say King of Bompton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, he got a door open. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wack 100. Wild Bing. Thank you. To my the, this week is the Adam and Wack show. Ooh, okay. So you don't give me the same respect. Well, it's cool, though. It's like Siskel and Ebert. They flipped a the coin. I never heard the Ebert and Siskel show. No, I don't think they tried to. Cisco and Ebert should be Cisco and Ebert. Cisco and Ebert. It's a better flow. Cisco and Ebert. Beavis, Beavis <laughs> and Budhead should be Beavis and Budhead. Not Budhead and Beavis. Ask Beavis. I get nothing but head. Hey, yo, you always got to say some sexual freak shit. Oh, it's a big L lyric. Rest in peace. Hey, you know what? When, you ain't never been packed up, huh? All right, man, I just told you about me getting knocked out. No, no, check this out. You know what? Because you scared of Clubhouse. I don't want to say I'm scared so much as I don't want to waste my out. time and my life. Check now, that's cool. But you know, people be having questions for you. Yeah? Well, they can watch this podcast and no, send them in. No, people be having questions for you. Well, leave so, them in you know, the comments. One, one week, we need to bring two of the clubhouse cats, my man, my nephew, Levels, for one for show. Mm -hmm. And somebody else, we talk, talk to Levels, let him call well, that Let's dog. get Tariq Nasheed in here so you can argue about uh, cool. who's the true FBA. Who the fuck is that? What is that? I'm not a fucking FBA. What is that? I think you are. I'm not FBA. You know? What is that? How long has your family lineage been in America? Uh, a long time. Well, you're probably FBA then. No, I got Native American in me. 
What is FBI? Well, then you're a mixed FBI. Uh, you no, know, because they try to say Africans can't be that. Foundational and black American. that's some bullshit because my boy Zine, uh, his father's from Nigeria, his mother's from Jamaica. He's born and raised in Brooklyn right. all his life. So they tell him he's, he's not Nigerian enough to be African. He's not Jamaican enough to be Jamaican. And then they're going to say, because your parents are African, you can't be FBA, right? I don't know. But think he's so. born and raised in Brooklyn his whole fucking life. Well, it turns out for him that he should have made sure retroactively that his parents and his grandparents and their grandparents were actually living in Fuck America. Fuck all that. We American. If, hey, if you want to be foundational. I'm American. Okay. Yeah, me too. You know, um, Sir Major told me, what's that dude name you just mentioned? Tariq Nasheed? Yeah. Yeah, Sir Major called me last week and said that he's a little dude. He used to teach you, think he know everything. Um, I don't know him. I guess Sir Major's an FBA guy. You know that dude? He stole the Black Lives Matter money. The albino dude. I know you got to know this dude. I can check it out. I'm not 100% yeah. sure. So, uh, I'm going to yeah, tap he, in with Tariq, though. I yeah, think, he, I, you and him need to him sit down. Ask him if he knows Sir Major, because Sir Major said he taught him everything you know. He's his little student. But if we're going to sit down with Tariq, I feel like you might need some backup. What you mean, backup? You might want an academic or two flanking you. And I don't give a fuck about I bring Captain Tazari out. He can talk to him. Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. It's going to be you a wild You want to set that up? Let's do it. We, we, can we can't get Richard Spencer. So. Yeah, the white dude is scared. Cap, <laughs> Next let me best know, thing is Tariq Let Nasheed. me know, Cap, if you want to talk to uh, Tariq Nasheed, we line it up. If I don't you can't know get dude. Richard Spencer, holler at Tariq. I mean, I'm just saying, He'll love bro. that. Cap, come in, talk his shit. He's okay. pretty good at that. All right. My man, Wack. Appreciate you. Yep. West up. Cop a diaper, dog. Credible diapers. Cop a diaper. Drop a like. And cop a dipe. <laughs> I fuck with that. I thought you was going to say some crazy shit. <laughs> and I fuck a dike. Oh, no, no. On my bike. <laughs> and go fly a this kite. is out of his mind. And bro. I tote pipes. Hey, you know, hey, I would love to talk some of you, to some of your junior high school teachers. I wish that I knew who any of them were. Oh, my God, but he was an asshole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was fucking around. Did you did like did your mom like just say he's fucking crazy? Yeah, I was a bad kid. I could tell you was just I was getting in trouble shit. all the time. I was a bad boy. I could tell you was just in the shit. Why are you wrapping your white claw in chips? Pause. It's not white claw either, it's an energy drink. No, it's not white we out! I don't drink.